thank you as always. And of course, facing an offense like this, you really have to be aware at all times of the weapons that throw at you. Yeah, and, and they can light it up when they get it going. It, it, it's going to take a top-notch effort defensively to keep them in check. And you know what? I think they're up for it. I like to hear Coach acknowledging the challenge they're facing. They know what they're in for. his fingertip and they've taken a look at it and they've overturned the call they've overturned the call uh, they're calling the basket good break yeah and that's why we have replay i mean to make sure the officials don't miss any calls and, and really a good job to take the second look at it would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points and that's it for the first one during the past month fourth spot held by the lakers I mean, they've taken their rebound, shaping up in the West. We look at the Lakers. Right now, they're locked into third place in the conference to review it. I'm not sure the ball is out of his hand in time. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they've come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock still ticking when it left his fingertips. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Lakers on top, opening up a huge gap. On New Orleans, back in a moment. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. We've been uh, watching a pretty lopsided game through the first half, that's for sure. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined again by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, some perspective, please. They've done a lot of things well, but the way they've taken care of the basketball, valuing each possession so critical to the tempo, so crucial to the offensive flow. They've got a great rhythm, as smart and as safe as they're playing. They made it clear they're not going to beat themselves today. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. They were not running an efficient offense. The shot selection has to improve. It's as simple as that. Too many guys working as individuals, not as a team. They need to work as a unit, Ernie. Move the ball. And that'll wrap up our halftime show. The third quarter set to go. Moments from now, we will be right back here after the game. The NBA have watched during the past month. The Lakers number one. You know, shot blocking can sometimes be like a spark plug or an energy injection for the defense. Their home crowd really gets into it when they throw those shots out of there. And he makes the first. Ooh. 
And so he makes both from the line for a three-point play. And we're seeing the shots start to fall for them now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And from the line, he's knocking it down about 71% of the time, and that's a percentage that needs to go up. Kevin, over the last month in the NBA statistics, first in block. No, oh, I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And, and, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock's still ticking when he left his fingertips. Good job. And they've taken a look at it, and they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good, Greg. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And, and really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. Look on it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. He really made that mismatch pay off. A defender giving up that much size isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the basket. And the free throw, no good. Just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly, because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. One shot, one shot. And that one misses. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control, that's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was impressive. I see. was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's not too far away. EJ? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. He was literally unstoppable tonight, Ernie. Those defenders that were trying to guard him are going to have nightmares tonight. He put on a clinic on how to break down the defense. With that kind of performance, it's going to be hard to repeat it. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal and Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.